Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to talk about customer service workspace and we're going to take a look at it in action, see some kind of the capabilities and, and cool functionality that's out there to help organizations and agents become more productive. So this is a, a really cool tool from Microsoft and the first place you want to go if you want to um, use customer service workspace is the app over here. So the customer service workspace app. And um, you'll see in my previous videos, I went through how to install a trial of customer service. And when you install that trial, you'll get access to this. So you'll see this uh, app appearing in your list of apps. And uh, this, this is really the starting place for everything. And you can see here the description, it says multi-session customer service with productivity tools, right? So um, the, the multi-session part of this is really key because previously we had model-driven apps out there that were single session, right? So that meant that a user is signed into the app and, uh, it, and especially agents when you think about D365 users who are dealing with customers, right? So these agents would sign into these apps and they'd have a single session experience where they would click around, they would open up a, a, a case, and then they may open up a contact, they may open up an account. And uh, if they wanted to see many of these at once, it was a little bit tricky. They'd potentially open up new tabs in the browser and uh, maybe have different windows open like that, right? So the way that this has been changed is that the there is now a multi-session experience within the app. So inside of this, D365 app, there's the ability to uh, group sessions together. So if you were working on a case with a particular customer, you could have multiple tabs open for that case, and then you could actually open up another session and deal with another customer at the same time and be able to tab back and forth in a very nicely controlled way. So let's go ahead and click on this app to open it and let's see what it looks like. And because this is a trial environment, you can see here it's a trial. Uh, we get the trial home here, and uh, this is kind of useful if you want to see some videos on how these things work. And there's already some uh, some samples set up here. So there's like a chat sample and there's a voice sample. And one of the other core concepts here is how, how Omnichannel comes into play here. And basically there's multiple uh, channels that you can set up uh, from an administrative point of view and as a organization, you can receive uh, from those channels uh, uh, messages from your customers, and then they can be handled very nicely through this interface so that when you're an agent, you can deal with these incoming requests in a, in a really, really nice controlled way. And we're going to take a look at what that looks like as well. So if we just look at some of the, uh, some of the layout here, right? So the first thing that we see here we have this pane on the left and we can open and close this and it says here the session list, right? So once we have some more sessions open, we'll be able to see those sessions here appearing and we can toggle between the sessions. And then across uh, the top here, we have the trial home and you can see here these tabs as well, right? So I have a customer service agent dashboard here and I have a omnichannel ongoing conversations dashboard. So these are the tabs that are within the one session here. And if I were to have other sessions, then they would have their own tabs as well. So those are a couple of key concepts there, the session tabs, the uh, tabs across the top, and then we have some other things that we'll look at, such as the, the communication when we're, when we're actually communicating with a customer. And also there's some uh, product, productivity stuff that they built in, and we'll see a productivity pane appear on the right here. And then uh, we'll see notifications actually coming in from customers. So through whatever channel the customers are engaging in, uh, they'll end up here uh, to alert an agent that a conversation or, or some type of events happened and the agent can then handle the request with the customer. So let's start off with something real simple here. I'm gonna click on the second tab and uh, here we have the uh, customer service agent dashboard and this is just a simple view that has here uh, my active cases, cases available to work on, and uh, my open activities here, right? So if I were to click on any of these cases, just doing a sing single regular click, left click of the mouse, uh, basically what's happening is it's opening this up in a new session. 
So let's open this up here and now we get this view of the case and we have the case summary, we have the timeline, we can click on the details tab and we can see here some information about the details of the case, right? Now what's interesting is let's go ahead and click on the customer, right? So if I just click on customer here, left click of my mouse, what's happened is it's opened up this tab uh, within the same session, okay? And now we, we don't have to do anything crazy to see the customer information within, uh, within the session here and within, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the same browser tab, right? It's not like I've I've done anything to open this up in a different browser tab. It's still contained within the same browser tab. Uh, so that's really nice, right? So, so I can see this information here. And just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go back over to home here. And let's open up a separate case. So this one says milk container not fitting. I'm just going to left click the mouse. And we can see here now that I have these three sessions, right? So these are the sessions. If I minimize this, we could see them like that. If I maximize this, and each of these sessions now has, like this, this one that I just clicked on is the milk container is not fitting, and that has a single tab open. And if I go back to this other case that I'm working on at the same time, this one has the, uh, the, the first tab of the case, but it also has here the second tab of the customer, right? The contact, right? So it's all contained within the sessions, which is really nice. And I can do the same thing here. If I wanted to open up this customer, I just left click, and it's now opening this up uh, contextually in the same tab, uh, in the same session, sorry, and we see that information. So you can just imagine, you know, if you're an agent and you're working on all of these cases at the same time, then uh, this is a nice way that it's all contained in here, right? Uh, same deal with products. If I click on the product here, it's now opening up the product in a different tab as well, right? So um, just a very nice way that everything's organized. Uh, as well here, you know, we have this, this plus button, so I can click on this, and then this gives me the ability to uh, open up all kinds of other stuff, right? So if I wanted to open up other dashboards, I could click on dashboards here. I could then select the, the dashboard that I wanted to open up. I could also click on uh, cases to get a list of the cases. Uh, let's say I wanted to see accounts, right? So here's my accounts. I could change that to all accounts, get that view. I could then go back over here and look at queues. If I wanted to see uh, particular items in queues, I could go over here to uh, knowledge articles. If I wanted to uh, do a quick lookup of some some knowledge articles in the system to try to resolve a case, right? So, so, so this is all different ways that I can add uh, into my session what I, I would like to see for that session. And then again, I can just tab between sessions, right? So all those tabs that I opened up in the second session, they are not appearing in this, uh, well, let's call this the third session, they're not appearing in the second session, right? So I can, I can restrict whatever I need to as well. Now, if I wanted to close down a session, it's really simple, so I can just click the X button here, and then you can see it says close the session, I'll just X out of it. It says you'll lose any uh, unsaved changes in the session and won't be able to return to it, that's fine. I click close and that's closed and the session there is closed, right? So if I were to basically open up this case again over here, uh, it doesn't, it hasn't retained that, okay? So another useful feature here is the productivity pane. So basically if you're in a session, this, this is the productivity pane on the right here and uh, you can see here that I don't have uh, a lot going on and this is configurable, which is really nice. And I've done some videos on how to uh, configure this, and basically uh, it's, it's really simple. You can actually just go over to the uh, to the Power Apps portal here, to the Maker portal, uh, click on your apps, and we're going to find the Omnichannel for, we're going to find this one, Customer Service Workspace. It actually works also in the Omnichannel for Customer Service one, but you want to end up here in the App Profile Manager. And this is a really nice way to group profiles for users, right? So if you have certain agents that are kind of a particular type of agent and you want to expose some first functionality versus other ones then uh, other functionality then this is how you do it um, in a in a previous video I created this custom profile and they, so some of these are the out-of-the-box profiles but you can create a profile completely on your own uh, make it custom to your company let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, custom one here and so each of these uh, tabs here has some 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 different uh, functionality that you can add 
And if I go over to the uh, productivity pane here, so this is turning on the productivity pane and then you have the default mode, whether you want it to be collapsed or expanded, right? Um, then you have the, the various different uh, capabilities here. So for example, if we turned on, let's turn on uh, Smart Assist, which is the ability to uh, make recommendations automatically by the system on uh, of knowledge articles, similar cases, uh, content like that. So that's a very interesting piece of functionality that, that resides also within the customer service workspace. We have the knowledge search here, which allows users to search for relevant articles. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we already had the agent scripts and uh, we don't have any agent scripts set up, but basically uh, this helps to guide the agent through the process of uh, dealing with the customer, right? And uh, and uh, making sure that, the, that that interaction goes very smoothly, right? And you know what, let's just make this expanded and we will go ahead and uh, uh, accept this. So this is all enabled for all channels. And so, you know, when I, if you wanna, uh, it says the profile has been saved here. If you wanna add users to it, you just go over here and, and assign any users that you want to the profile. And you can see that I'm already assigned to the profile. So back, on, back over here on the Customer Service Workspace app, if I just were to refresh this. And by the way, when I'm refreshing this, you can see here that the, the, the presence in the top right is loading. And presence is used um, in different parts of the system. Basically, if, you're, if, you're, if you have a certain presence, like you're available or you're busy, but you're not on Do Not Disturb, uh, then certain things may get uh, routed to you or not routed to you. And then the capacity comes into play as well. And uh, I've also talked about capacity in the past, but basically agents are set up to have a, a particular number. It's just a made up number that makes sense to the organization on uh, how much capacity they have in order to uh, deal with cases. So if each case is worth, uh, for example, a number 10 capacity and an agent has uh, a, a, a total capacity of 30, then they can work on uh, three cases at the same time. So three times 10, right? You know, if you were in a phone call, you might just want to make that a 30 so that you can't do anything else while you're on a phone call. And if you were doing Facebook uh, messages, uh, that might be, a, you know, a different kind of time uh, sensitive nature. And that might be, let's say, a, 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 a number five. So you can work on six of those at the same time, you know, to make up the 30, you know, and then you can mix based on the different channels, you can mix and match and uh, to make up that capacity as well, right? So capacity is really cool. So now let's check out the update that we made to the productivity pane. So if I basically go and click on any of these cases, like uh, let's say this first one that we were looking at before. So it's opened up the new session. And then we can see here on the right, the productivity panes opened up automatically, right? So that's really nice. Um, so it's, it's automatically opened and it's or it's automatically uh, running the smart assist. So it's basically looking at this and it's saying, uh, you know what, there's some knowledge articles out there that um, I suggest could help with this case. And then as an agent, I can basically click on this. And of course, it's gonna open up in a different tab here in the same session. And I get to take a look at this and it says, okay, I need to uh, uh, do some descaling of my coffee machine here. Let me go back to the back to the case that's opened and it says, yeah, mineral buildup in the water supply. So that's probably a good uh, solution to resolve the case, right? Then I can contact the customer and, uh, and, and help them out. And then you can see here, there's actually, you know, there's three things that we see here. The other one's the agent script, so they can easily, the agent can easily just tab here by clicking on these uh, icons to get to the different areas of the productivity pane. And then here we have the knowledge search. And basically, it's you see what it's doing. It's taking the title of the case here, putting this automatically into the search field. And then it's uh, bringing up uh, uh, knowledge articles with similar text. And then it says uh, we have eight results found. And we can go here and click on this. And then same deal. We can basically read this uh, knowledge article and see if this helps us resolve the case as well. And then if I click back on the first tab here, the, the knowledge articles uh, has this useful feature for emailing uh, content. So if you click on these three dots here and then click the email content uh, button that comes up, it'll open this up in a new tab here. And then basically 
uh, you can see here it's automatically defaulted my name on the from and then the two is going to go to the customer and then we have the the uh, knowledge base article here so they will receive a copy of this automatically once I hit send and um, and this will help them to resolve their own case and let's go ahead and try a little uh, test here regarding uh, Omnichannel. So here I have an Omnichannel chat. So if I click on the Omnichannel chat and I click on submit here and then back over here in the customer service workspace app, you can see here that uh, I, I'm getting this request coming in, right? So this is a uh, Omnichannel chat request and it's coming into the customer service workspace app. And now if I click accept here, what we're going to see is, you know, I was already on a... Uh, on a, on a uh, case that I was dealing with in one session, and now I have this omnichannel session here, right? So if I start talking to the customer, uh, and then we go back over to the customer side, we can see that the uh, that it says that I have joined the conversation, and uh, and my message has gone through, and then it's a, and uh, as a customer, I can type in, I need some help. And then if I go back over to the uh, customer service workspace app, we can see that the customer is replying, right? So I'm so now I'm in this um, this uh, I'm using uh, the customer service workspace app to deal with uh, chat call uh, or chat conversations coming in um, from a chat that's been embedded on a website somewhere, and so this is one of the available channels. And then from here, I can engage with the customer and and uh, figure out how to resolve their issue, right? And then at the same time, here I have all of this stuff that's still available to me to uh, to help resolve the case, right? And a couple of other things that I really want to quickly point out. Uh, here we have the new customer service admin app. And uh, this is the, so the admin center preview, right? You can see in brackets it says preview. Uh, basically, if you go into it, this is what it looks like. And uh, this is a new app that's kind of going to be the result of uh, the merging of some other administration apps in the system. And you can see there's, there's you know, this is the tip of the iceberg because there's so much capabilities here that you can add into customer service workspace. And um, this this is all driven through this app here. So you have basically uh, the user management, the channels, queues, routing, um, how to configure the agent experience, uh, how to how to configure operations. There's all kinds of insights that's built into this as well. So so lots of interesting stuff. Um, the the routing is like you know a, a whole other thing here. Um, I have unified routing turned on, and that is uh, enterprise grade routing from Microsoft, where it 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 has artificial intelligence and it and it has uh, manual routing rules that you can do to route uh, cases and emails or other other uh, types of of table uh, information that comes in to the right agents, right? It's all about, you know, matching skills with availability. Uh, the cases get routed uh, in the proper way and they can be handled by the right agents, okay? And then the, the final piece of the puzzle here is the APIs. And I, I did a video on the APIs around the, uh, the around customer service as well and the uh, app profiles. And so there's a lot you can do to customize this, right? There's a, there's a whole configuration behind this about how it's gonna look for the agents and, and, and integrating with other systems and then uh, how, to, how to use the API to, to display information so that it, it, it makes uh, sense for your organization as agents, right? So, so tons, of, tons of good stuff here in customer service workspace. I'm gonna be producing more videos in the future on uh, how to use the application and how to customize it even further. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carlbasuza.com. Thank you.